Good day, YouTube. My name is Captain Darren, and my call sign is N4VFR. In today's video, I will show you how to install the Yesu Wires X on my Dell laptop right here and also to interface and connect it with the Yesu FT3D. Stay tuned. The first thing we need to do under your search engine is type in wires X registration and you'll see the results there for new registration. So click on the link for the new registration and just follow the steps there under the members registration. You have to read all the user's agreement and then check the box and agree to proceed. Here, you type in a unique member's ID and your unique password and your call sign. They also require you to have the radio ID so to find that information, there's a link here to click on to search for your radio ID. To find a radio ID on the Yesu FT3D, power on your radio, push and hold display, push GM, and item number two, radio ID check, push display and that's where you would find your ID. Once you successfully submitted your request for a wireless X node, in about two to three business days you'll receive an email and that's where you'll find all the information necessary to enter the X program. So now let's download the X software. I'm going to do a Google search for the Yesu And uh, you can go to the Yesu website and under products, go to digital. And my radio is an FT3. I'm going to click on that. And here's the file you need to download. Under the files, go down to the bottom and you'll see the SCU19 USB driver. Click on that and download that one. Save it to your downloads folder. The next program you also need, let's go under the program, uh, let's correction, let's go under products and under wires X internet linking uh, HRI 200. Click on that. All right, again, under Files, let's go down to the bottom. And you, want, you would want to download the Wires X Portable Digital Node. They call that PDN, Function for PC Software. In my case, this is uh, as of August the 23rd, 2021. This is the latest version. And again, save that to your download folder. Okay, to make this system work, you need to purchase a uh, Wires X connection cable kit. It's the Yesu SCU39 kit. And what's included on the inside is the special cable. It's called the SCU19. This is the cable that you'll utilize to connect the, your radio, the Yesu FT3D, and interface that with your laptop. Go to your downloads folder now and the two files we downloaded is the SCU19 this is your driver and the uh, WX1540 and that's the actual wires X software. First thing we do let's extract and open up the drivers and click yes Click next and finish. There's no need to uh, reboot or restart your computer. And 
and uh, you want to take a look at that. Now I can connect my SCU19 uh, cable into the USB COM port. And go to your manager, device manager. And you will see under ports, double click on that, the prolific USB to serial COM port. And take note that my version is in COM port 4. Let's go back to your download folder. And now let, let's extract the Wires X software. I'm just going to double click it and go under the folder called en-us and wires setup. Just click on that. Click next. And I already have it installed on my computer. So let me remove it and show you the process of installing. Okay, now the WiresX software is uninstalled on my computer. Let me show you how I installed it. Alright, download folder. I'm running the Windows 11 software with all the latest uh, updates. So it's going to work for Windows 10, so I'm going to show you that it works for Windows 11. Okay, I'm reinstalling it now. Next, accept the agreement. Next, and uh, that's the default location. I'm not going to change it and install. Allow it to make changes and click finish. As you notice, I didn't unzip it, so I just clicked on the zip file and it, it worked. So look for the wires X icon it's right here I'm just going to position it there okay now to connect the radio to the cable real simple it's to the uh, side of the uh, radio you have a uh, data port a data port and just plug that in we're now going to put the Yaesu FT3D in PDN mode or direct mode. So when we power on the radio, we have to push the back button and the wires X red button and the power switch at the same time. So let me do that. It's now in Wires X mode. Now let's open up the Wires X software. Double click on Wires X. Remember I mentioned to COM port 4, so it identified it automatically. It populated by itself. So select your COM port and click OK. So my serial number is populated and your node and room number, you will get a specific email from Yesu registration and that's where you plug in your numbers. I'm going to use my other computer and look at my email. Okay, and enter the node. In my case, it's 71343, and my room number is 81343. Click on ID entry, and there it is. It's self populated. Click OK. Wires X information. 
I'm going to leave that all default and click OK. And it's populating. Again, this is the radio. It's in the uh, direct wires X mode. And a lot of people go to America Link. So here, this is all the users. It's going to take about a few seconds to populate. And what I'm going to be looking for is the room ID here on the bottom left. And look for America Link. All right, we have population down in the room IDs. And here's America Link right there. Right click on America Link, right click on Connect. Way to go out again. Uh, it won't hold you longer. Uh, I want to thank you so much for coming back to my call. It's working. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, you have an opportunity to uh, make contact again. I'm going to connect my uh, speaker mic and, uh, to the radio. So I can just talk on the uh, speaker mic itself instead of having the radio. All right. Let me try to see if my radio works in the PVN mode, direct mode, with the Wires X software. Any station this net, this is November 4. Victor Foxtrot Robio getting a radio check. I'm recording a, a new video for my YouTube channel. This is N4VFR. Is anyone response? N4VFR, Kilo, Echo 7, Romeo Tango, Bravo, Seattle, Washington. Well, in New Brunswick, Canada, Grand Falls. Grand Falls, New Brunswick, Canada. Okay, I got two stations. I got uh, Andy and Gino, uh, KE7RTB. Uh, your first, uh, this is N4VFR, Captain Darren. I'm recording a video for my YouTube channel, and it's going to be a subject. It's going to be how to connect your Yaesu FT3D to the Wires X on your laptop. Go ahead, Andy. Captain Darren, uh, nice chatting with you again. I've made QSOs with you while you've been in the air, and I got you on FTA just the other day, and I want to thank you for the confirmation. So I'm on an FT3DR, however, I'm talking into a fusion repeater in Seattle, Washington. So I'll yield the air to the next gentleman, and you have a wonderful time, and thank you for the multiple QSOs. N4 VFR, this is Kilo Echo 7, Romeo Tango Bravo. Elliott Bay, Seattle, Washington, United States of America. I'll be clear monitoring. 73, my friend. Okay, 73 is Andy. Yeah, I did saw that uh, FT8 uh, QSA that we had the other day. Uh, very good. And by the way, my location is Brownsville, Texas, and uh, I operate on remote on uh, when I go digital via the team viewer. Break. Uh, 73 is Andy, KE7RTB. Uh, this is N4VFR. Uh, and all to the new station. Uh, I didn't get quite the call sign. A, a Canadian station uh, name of Gino. Is that QSL over? And four EFR. This is Victor Echo Nine Golf Mike. Name here is Gino, located in Grand Falls, New Brunswick, Canada. Just heard you call in for a. Uh, uh, an F there or a YouTube video you're doing, so I just wanted to say uh, hello to everybody listening in. And mobile, currently mobile, just getting uh, back home from work, and uh, everything's uh, running a uh, FDM 400 mobile radio, going into our local uh, repeater site here on the DR1X uh, repeater. So we'll say uh, 73 VE. Uh, sorry. Uh, I forgot your call sign. N4VFR, I believe. VE9 Golf. VE9 Golf. Uh, 
Mike, I believe. I don't know. I didn't write it down. Uh, this is N4 VFR. Sorry about that, Gino. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, when you get to your uh, QTH there in Canada, uh, take a look at the uh, YouTube channel. It's uh, November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo, or you can search for uh, Captain Darren. And also, you can look at my QRZ page, and there's a link to my YouTube video channel. Alrighty. Well, thank you for coming back, uh, you two, uh, Gino and Andy. I'll say 73s, and I'm going to stop my recording here. And you can see the video later on tonight or, or tomorrow once I get done uh, editing. Uh, 73s, uh, VE9 Golf Mike. This is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. Good day. Yeah, I, I didn't write down the call sign. I just going by uh, memory. So I hope uh, it worked out that uh, we had a good QSO uh, utilizing my uh, FT9 uh, or FT, uh, FT3D. All right, so I'm going to disconnect. Let me close this out. I'm going to disconnect from America Link. You go to click and disconnect, and then I am now on idle and uh, offline. So now if you want to add these links to your favorite like up here like a bookmark you go uh, right mouse click and then go add bookmark list so that's uh, saved onto your bookmarks here American link so all you gotta do to reconnect right mouse click and connect and then it populates and now you're connected I'm showing approximately how many people 124 nodes online at the same time right here well I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope to help you guys out there that are setting up for the first time your uh, wires X node on your laptop computer please consider to subscribe to my channel my name is Captain Darren my call sign is N4 VFR Please leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any difficulties. I can help you through it. And please give me a like on my videos. Till next time, have a great day, Facebook. See ya.